this is Guinea Pig Pigs 64, and this, I'm Stacy. And I'm Tanisha. And, yeah, Stacy. Anyway, so we lost our intro video, which means we will not, we wouldn't be able to upload it. So if you see Cage Tour after this, I mean, that we've just cleaned up the cage and stuff, sorry, but we're doing our intro video again because we lost the other one. And okay, like, we get they get the point. Yeah, so pretty much we're just going to show you. This cage is the same one that I have for the girls. Um, I got the girls on Saturday. Yeah, so this is a... Um, Store-built cage. We got it from the Cabin Cottage, which is where we, get, where we got the guinea pigs. Um, bit of a long story short, we found we were looking for a guinea pigs and we were searching anywhere. On we didn't tree. know whether a pet store, any, just breeders. We didn't know what, we just really, we didn't really know about rescues and all that stuff. But we, we knew everything about guinea pigs, but we just wanted a guinea pig. And we found the cabin cottage and it was an, and they were having an open day. And we went there with my mum and we just fell in love with her guinea pigs. And then the next day we went with Tanisha's my dad. dad and we saw Patches. Um, so this is Patches, who will be starring in our videos. He's always and then we've got the boys in the piccolo. There's buttons over there. Yeah, patches. Buttons I don't know if chocolate chips in there. And chocolate chip. And he is the American short hair, which is brown and white. And buttons is the Texel plus teddy. So yeah, we're trying to do this video quite fast. So it's just time run on our side today. So we fell in love with those guinea pigs, and we just really wanted to get them. So we went with Kate. Tanisha's. Tanisha's um, dad, and um, we got the guinea. We all well, he put the guinea pigs on layby, and the day that we actually went on the open day, which was the day before we went with him, we put on hold my girls. Yeah. So, so anyway, okay. Now we'll start. First, we have the pigaloo. Pigaloos are very important because the guinea pigs need somewhere to hide and to be sheltered. You can get all sorts of different shapes and sizes, but we've just got this one, this simple one, until we can get another one, until they get, yeah, sick of this one. Over here, we just have towel. Any, we, you can have bedding. You have the care fresh, aspen. Wood shavings. Um, yeah, just paper, bedding, recycled, whatever you choose to have, that's your choice for the fleece. I personally like fleece better because they can move around in it and it's less expensive and it's easier and with bedding these guys actually kick it out so it's like a hassle and ends up all over the house and when you pick them up they have bedding all over them and then you kind of have to shake them off a bit and you know and then bedding ends up everywhere on your clothes and then as you walk you have you're running through the house with bedding so personally we like towel and fleece then also what you need is a water bottle and a food dish. Um, well, yeah, food we dishes just have a you don't have to buy, but because if you have little containers like we do, like I do, Tanisha, and um, like you get little food containers and you can put the like foods and stuff in there. And then um, you definitely need a water bottle. Um, this one's Super Pet Critter Canteen. Um, my one that I have is a glass one. I don't know. I just like glass. It's just, I guess, because it doesn't build up as much algae. Like, you can control whether it gets algae or not. But with bottle ones, they do build up algae pretty quick. Okay, next you need hay. It keeps their teeth um, short, so you don't want a guinea pig bite you and it would kind of go through your skin, which you no one wants that because it's hurt a lot. Trust me. Yeah. And then you also will need um, this uh, hay rack or a hay stand because I recommend having a hay rack or a hay stand because if you don't, hay will literally end up all over your cage. See, like these boys have done, except because it's not a proper hay stack or rack. But, no, but it still works. You've just got to put every now and then hay in. So, I definitely recommend it. Sorry. And then... Also, something else you'll need is something nice and snuggly for them. Like, so we've got a sleeping bag from the Cavi Cottage. It comes with three with each guinea pig. You just kind of... Chop chips in there. They are a little model. Um, you kind of just...
just, they kind of just need it, especially for the winter, they need things to snuggle in, and I definitely recommend it. And then you need your cage, store-bought CNC cage hut. I have nothing against them, they just have to be a decent size. I do think this is a decent size, like, look, they have a lot of room to run around, they can go up and down, and they don't mind it, but and these guys are just yeah. lazy little buggers who just want to sleep, and eat, and poop, so, yeah, yeah but they, and also, also you'll need a drip pad, it's like to keep the water, um, nice and clean, so instead of it going into your bedding, it just drips onto the drip pad, and you wash it every now and then, and then let it dry, or just let it dry if you wanted to, yeah, so, yeah. So, um, I hope you have enjoyed our video.